morning! We are currently at the start of the Cleveland Way here in Helmsley. We've just been dropped off by my sister, so thank you very much Lisa. And we are heading up now to the start point, so I'll tell you a little bit more about it when we get there. Here we are sat at the official monument with the acorn symbol behind me. So I'm in the little town of Helmsley and this is where you start the Cleveland Way. It's about 109 miles, some say 110, but it's 109 miles. And it starts here and it heads into the North Yorkshire Moors and it heads all the way round in a horseshoe direction, starting kind of west and then north and then east and then south and that's the way most people walk it because then the wind's usually behind you but it heads up to Saltburn by the sea and then it follows the coastline of the North Yorkshire area down towards Filey where the trail will end and it can be done any time of year apparently the best time is this time because all the heather's going to be out so it should look absolutely beautiful the only problem is the weather we've got a weak forecast of rain <laughs> So it's going to be a little bit testing, I think, with the weather, but it should still be a fantastic experience. I'm sure it's not going to rain all the time, but I'm so looking forward to this trip because it's just going to be so interesting. We're going to go through the, the moorlands, we're going to go through little quaint villages, we're going to have a little bit of the sea and the cliffs. So the scenery is going to be ever changing and we have got so much kind of quirky things along the way, like little old fishing villages and mythical places. So I'm looking forward to telling you all about it along our journey. So for now, I'm going to probably put my waterproof jacket on in a minute because it looks like it's going to start raining and we are going to head off. distance you can see Helmsley Castle. Just walked up our first hill and it has just opened out for our first view.
<laughs> okay, I'm trying to avoid the geese. I've got a horse walking towards me now. But we have just taken a popular detour to... Um, I can't even remember where I am. Rebo Abbey. <laughs> I've got a horse here trying to nibble on me as well. Um, but yes, yeah, so we have just taken a popular detour off the Cleveland Way. It's about half a mile off it and then half a mile back again to a very iconic abbey, which is Revo Abbey, which you can see up here in the distance. It was established in 1132 and it was one of the first Cistercian abbeys to be built in the north of England. It quickly became one of the most powerful and spiritual monasticism sites in Britain and it held I think about 650 in its day but it was suppressed in 1538 but it's still visited by lots of artists and a lot of people take inspiration from there because it is a beautiful area and it just looks lovely it was it was just so nice seeing the sunrise behind it as well this morning that's something I've never seen before Just in case anyone's wondering, that is pronounced Revo. So here we have Derek. <laughs> First snack of the day, peanut butter banana cliff bar. What do you think? <laughs> I think these peanut butter banana flavoured cliff bars have got to be my favourite. The sun's out! Yay! <laughs> is this for the perfect little tiny house we're so tempted to go up and peek inside but knowing our luck someone will be in there well that is so cute curiosity got the better of us we couldn't resist coming in to have a look but look how tiny it is it's so weird what do you want <laughs> It's so tiny. <laughs> that is funny.
We have just arrived in Cold Kirby, which is a tiny little village. I think it the last census in 2011, so there was about 205 people living here. So it's a very quaint, quiet little area. It's been a beautiful walk so far, and our next stop is going to be Sutton Bank. I think that's around about the 10 mile point of the trip today and hopefully it won't take too long to get there because we've been taking lots of pictures and enjoying the scenery but we're getting rather peckish so we're going to head off Hey darling! Yeah? What's in the field over there? Potatoes! <laughs> <laughs> just stop for a wonderful lunch stop here in Sutton Bank and it's in the Hamilton Hills it's the highest point in the area and the Sutton Bank itself has got a gradient of 25% so one in four and at the base of it there's a little village called Sutton Under Whitestone Cliff and it's the longest hyphenated village in England at 27 letters long but Sutton Bank for me reminds me when I was a child and we used to go up it in a very old car without a lot of power in it and we all sat there as a family fearing for our lives that we'd end up rolling backwards without having the power so it kind of <laughs> makes me feel nervous just looking down at it but we have just had our lunch and it was absolutely beautiful having this view James Herriot lived only a few miles away from here he was a author and he said that this was one of the finest views in England going to be heading along the limestone hills of Hamilton Park in the North Yorkshire Moors and we will be following an ancient route that was followed by drovers and travellers that used to come from the likes of Scotland with their cattle and head all the way down to the market towns in England and further on down to London. And here is the hairpin bend at Sutton Bank, it's quite a steep one.
we're very close to a glider area and it's lovely watching them in the skies. It's so quiet. Got a little friend on your shoulder. Oh. <laughs> Has he fallen asleep? I think so. Oh, he looks tired. I don't want to shoe him off. <laughs> I'll take him with me. Oh, he's moving. Oh, come on, honeybee. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a honeybee, though, is he? He's a bumblebee. Has he got a white bum? Yeah. He's a buff bee. <laughs> <laughs> Butterflies everywhere. Lost all your strength. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I cannot believe how gorgeous the weather has been today. Considering it was forecast a bit of rain, it has been so nice. We're now walking through Boltby Forest. We've just been walking through a lot of heather, which is all purple. And now we've got a forest and then we get open views. It's just such great different things to see today. It has been so beautiful. I have just read a sign saying that the North Yorkshire Moors has got the largest continuous area of heather moorland. So I never knew that, I've just learned that. There's a sign right in front of me here. And behind me, you can see that we are now five miles from Osmotherley and it has been such a gorgeous walk today. It has been warm, which we were not expecting, were we? We were yeah. expecting it to be a little bit windy, a little bit rainy, but oh, it's been utterly gorgeous today. Um, we are heading up now across the moorland still in front of us and we've got more heather that we're walking through and quite a number of quarries by the looks of it that we'll be walking past but wow it is certainly spectacular up here <laughs> why thank you <laughs>
we are now making our way down to Osmotherly, which is about another probably mile and a half from here. The last little bit heading up to Osmotherly. <laughs> it's mean. We just thought we'd reach that nice flat area where we just went across and then down into Osmotherly. But no, it's a little bit mean at the end. We're coming up all these steep steps. They probably look not steep at all actually, but oh, it's a bit mean towards the end. We have arrived in our accommodation in Osmotherly. It has been an amazing day. We ended up doing about 22 and a half miles in total, so that's obviously from Helmsley, and that includes the Rebo Abbey detour. Tomorrow we're heading over to Kildale, so it's quite another long day, and we shall see you in the morning because we've just had some food, had a shower, and we are now ready to rest. So, good night.